Hello y'all, in this video I am going to tell you all about the leaders you can get for Japan in Hearts of Iron 4 along with their ideology, how to get them, and also a little bit of their historical background. Let's start with Tetsu Katayama, who represents the ideology of democracy. He can come to power via the focus preemptive coup. Katayama in real life was the first prime minister of post-World War II Japan, and also apparently the first socialist in Japan to be prime minister. Next is Hirohito, who is leader of Japan at the start of the game, and he is of the fascism ideology. Hirohito historically was the 124th emperor of the Japanese nation from 1926 to his death in 1989. For some trivia, by the year 1979, he was the only monarch in the world to have the title emperor. Now for some communism, here is Koichi Tokada. He can get into power via the focus, cast the die. Tokada in history was the first chairman of the Japanese Communist Party from 1945 to 1953 which is the year he died. Finally, we have Hirohito again, except this time he is not aligned in terms of ideology. And this version of Hirohito can appear by completing the focus, support the Kadoha faction. The Kadoha faction, or the Imperial Way, was a political faction in the IGA that sought to establish a military government that was run directly by Emperor Hirohito. The real-life Kadoha faction failed in its goal, basically because of the events of the February 26th incident coup. That's every leader in Hoi for Japan. Did I miss anything? Tell me in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.